Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before we start with the corporate kit branching strategies, I would request you please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are lots of amazing hands-on videos with respect to DevOps as well as Cloud DevOps which is going to be really useful for you. Also team, people who are looking to transition to DevOps or people who are beginners and want to learn DevOps, I have launched my batch 4 which is going to get started on 10th of March. This course is designed in specific way to help people who want to transition and people who are beginners so using uh, with this course you can learn devops from scratch up to advanced level and you can easily qualify interviews in this course i have covered everything okay security tools build tools multiple ci cd tools like jenkins github actions aws code pipelines azure pipelines okay <coughs> so in that way if you are knowing everything if you are learning everything practicing it easily you can qualify for interviews okay and for this course, I am also help. I will be also helping you to prepare a proper resume. What kind of project you should mention? How you should explain those projects? Okay, and what? How you should prepare a resume? Everything I am going to guide you personally with, so that you can easily qualify for interviews. Okay, so if you are interested, you can enroll to this course. All the links will be in the description. If you are having any queries with respect to this course, you can just ping me in Telegram, whose link will be in the description. Now, so with that being said, let's get started. Okay team, so today we are going to learn a git branching strategy that is being used in companies. Okay, so before we jump into that, first of all, we should know different environments that exist on which we deploy our source code, right? Source code or the application. Okay, so let me explain you that as well. So first thing, let's say we have prod environment, then we have dev environment. Sorry about that. One second. Yeah. So after prod, we have dev environment, then we have QA environment, then we have PPD, then we have DR. Okay. Basically, let me explain you what exactly these environments are and what kind of uh, like changes will be done through these environments. Okay. So, okay. First of all, dev environment, which is also known as the lowest environment or development environment. So any kind of new changes that needs to be uh, applied into the uh, application. So first, those changes are tested and deployed to dev environment so that we can see if the new changes or new features are working or not. Okay. So dev environment is also known as development environment or the lowest environment. Okay. Then we have QA environment. So QA environment basically is short for quality assurance. So whatever kind of testing we have, we perform testing in this environment. We can test like uh, test our different features and everything. Whatever test cases are written, we can test them here. Okay. So proper testing will be done for the uh, for the application in QA environment. Then we have PPD, which is short for pre-production. From the name itself, you can understand that this environment is used to mimic the actual live environment. Okay. When I say mimic the actual live environment, so that before we deploy our application to live public environment or like it, it is deployed for public publicly uh, publicly accessible we deploy the application inside pre-production so that we can test how it's how the application is going to perform in real time or live environment okay and after that <coughs> we deploy the application to prod environment which is the actual live environment okay and finally we have dr environment which is short for disaster recovery this is like a backup environment. So if anything goes wrong in our production environment, then we can uh, like use DR to replace production for temporary, okay, as a backup. So this is basically about the environments. These are the five kind of kinds of environment that exist in any company or with respect to any project, okay. Now, to deploy to each of these environments, we are going to have specific piece of code, okay. So for deploying to production, we are going to have prod branch in Git. For deploying to dev, we are going to have dev branch. For deploying application to QA, we are going to have QA branch. And for deploying to PPD, we are going to have PPD branch. Okay. And for deploying to DR environment, we are going to have DR branch. Right. That is one thing. Okay. Now, let's talk about how these branches are created, from where they are going to be created, and where exactly we are going to merge them. Okay. So, let me show you that as well. So first of all, uh, first we have initial branch which is known as master. Okay, this is the main branch which contains the production ready code and most stable version of code. From master we are going to create dev branch. From dev we are going to create QA, and then we are going to create PPD. Okay, 
and finally we are going to create dr branch okay and we actually before dr we are going to have one more branch which is for prod let me write it that as well and then we have dr okay okay now let's say uh, we are doing this for the first time okay uh, we have we want to deploy an application for the first time so we have created these many branches okay so the initial source code which we have first we pushed it to master and then we created all these branches from master okay now let's say uh, using uh, like prod branch we have deployed the application to prod environment and application is publicly accessible and it is running fine okay after some time let's say uh, case one that we receive a request from client that we want to add some new feature into the production environment so for that what we are going to do for that we are going to create a feature branch okay and that we are going to create from dev branch because dev is the lowest branch okay so we create a feature branch for dev and developers will write the source code for new feature okay and once the developers have written the source code in feature they are going to test that feature in their local machine okay so once the de developers test this feature in their local machine they are convinced that this uh, new feature it is working fine okay so once they are convinced what they are going to do they are going to merge this feature branch back into dev branch okay once the new feature branch is merged into dev branch now dev branch contains actual source code in addition to that the new source code of the new feature okay and and then after that what we are going to do we are going to deploy from dev branch to dev environment and then we are going to see if the new feature is working or fine or not okay if it is working fine next what we are going to do we are going to merge the dev branch code to qa for quality assurance and testing okay so for that next what is going to happen we are going to uh, from like qa uh, branch we are going to deploy the code to qa environment to perform the testing to run all the test cases to see if it is worth running fine or not uh, when the new feature is added right if it is fi running fine then we are going to merge qa code to ppd and deploy to ppd environment to see how new feature uh, when added in the, into the application how it is working in the pre production environment okay so if it is everything is fine then finally we are going to deploy from uh, this uh, prod branch to public or like prod environment okay and here once it is deployed to prod environment then we can say okay a new feature has been deployed into the uh, prod environment okay and yeah obviously if, as a part of uh, like backup we are going to merge prod branch also to dr so that we can deploy the changes to dr environment just for backup okay now at this point this contains the most stable code right so this what we are going to do this we are going to merge back to master because master is the main branch that is going to contain the production ready and most stable code okay so this is like feature branch this is how feature branches are created okay talking about next branch which is going to be bug fix okay so let me explain you that as well so bug fix branch this is in bug fix branch this is what is going to happen let's say we have the initial branch which is master then we have dev then we have qa then we have ppd okay then we have prod and then we have dr okay let's say uh, everything is going fine new feature is added and we are moving to qa okay and basically what happens while running test cases in qa we found out a new bug in our code so immediately to fix the code uh, what we do to fix the bug what we do we create a new branch which we are going to call as bug fix branch and this you can create from qa you can create see in whichever environment you uh, when the application is testing being tested whichever in the moment you find the bug from immediately from that branch you are going to create the bug fix if you find the bug in ppd branch or uh, ppd environment so from ppd branch you are going to create the bug fix okay so we created the bug fix branch from here and we are going to fix the bug developers is going to fix the bug and once they have written the source code which is going to fix the bug they are going to test it in their local in their local machine if the new source code is working fine or not once they have tested then uh, they are going to merge back this bug fix branch to qa or from wherever it was created and then uh, again it will be from qa we are going to deploy to qa environment Q from qa branch to qa environment okay then if that bug is fixed then we are going to merge qa uh, branch to <coughs> ppd branch okay 
So once we deploy, merge the code from QA branch to PPD branch, next what we can do, we can do the deployment from PPD branch to PPD environment. Okay, and vice versa, we are going to next we are going to move ahead with prod and dr and back to master. Okay, so this is how it will be done for bug fix branch. Let's say let's scenario like uh, let me do some changes. Okay, let's say that uh, we we like everything was working fine in QA but in PPD suddenly we got some bug so this time we are going to create the new bug fix branch from PPD branch okay and then developers are going to fix it fix write the new source code to fix the bug and then this code is going to be merged back into PPD okay and then we are going to move ahead okay that is one scenario so now you understand what like from where feature branch is going to create it because feature branch is like when client says okay we need to add new uh, feature so we are going to create new feature branch from dev branch write the source code for new feature and then start deploying to each environment testing it okay if it is fine then it's good if not then we are going to fix the issues okay that is for feature and for bug fix whichever environment you are deploying if any bug is coming you will quickly quickly create a new branch from that specific uh, branch and then you are going to fix the bug okay and then merge the fixed code back into the whichever branch you created the bug fix branch okay so the, this these are two cases now third third case that you need to know is known as a uh, hotfix branch okay now hotfix from the name itself it means basically that the issue that may come is going to be from prod environment okay so basically like uh, you were uh, uh, you uh, added new feature and deploy to dev environment it's fine QA it's fine PPD also environment you deployed it's fine but when you deployed the application to prod environment suddenly some critical issues occur critical issues that because you know obviously prod branch we are using to deploy the application to live environment okay where public can access the application so if some issue is coming that is very critical issues because public can like see okay these are like critical issues they can also be uh, like uh, worried okay this is a serious issue so in order to fix those issues immediately what we do from the prod branch we are going to create a branch known as hotfix branch hotfix branch basically means that there is a bug or issue that came into production environment okay or the live environment and we need to fix it immediately as soon as possible so developer will start fixing it okay and they will immediately fix it test it on their local and merge back from hotfix branch to prod branch and again from prod it's going to we are going to deploy to prod environment okay and now the issue will be fixed so this is hotfix branch it's usually it is created from it's created because some critical issues may occur okay so if some critical issues may occur we need to fix it immediately so that's how these branches are created okay now let me explain you the proper diagrammatic structure how exactly which branch is created from which branch and where exactly we are going to merge it okay so let me explain you that as well okay team so now let me uh, through a diagrammatic structure let me explain you how exactly these branches are done okay so first of all what we are going to have first of all we are going to have a master branch for master we are going to create deo branch from deo we are going to create qa branch from QA we are going to create PPD branch from PPD we are going to create prod branch and from here we are going to create DR branch okay now when we talk about feature branches so feature branches is created in the initial stage that means if new feature needs to be added we are going to create it from the initial branch which is our DO branch so here let's say I created one branch which is going to be feature okay so if feature branch is created and everything is done then we are going to merge it back to dev if developers have written the source code new code for feature branch and tested it we can merge into merge it back into dev branch so that dev can contain the new feature added source code okay then we have bug fix branches so if we are deploying to any environment we may face that some issue might be there okay some bug so those bug fix branches then that, that can be created from uh, like qa also that can be created from ppd also in whichever environment we are going to fix the uh, we are going to find the bug from that branch we are going to create bug fix branch it is possible that from dev in, in dev environment also we may face bug uh, bugs so from there we are going to create bug fix branch okay and they are merged back and they are made it's made sure that they are merged into other environments other branches also okay 
but when we talk about hotfix branch so hotfix basically it from the name itself it means that it's a very critical issue a critical bug found into the live or production environment so hotfix branch usually we create from production uh, branch okay so we are going to create uh, hotfix branch from production uh, branch and then we are going to fix the bug and then we are going to merge it back okay and we need to obviously we need to make sure that whatever new changes are there which is which is for fixing some issue or fixing any bug it should be merged back into these branches other branches also okay so this is like three uh, this is the basic branching strategy that you need to explain in any interview and this is what is being used in companies okay <clears throat> okay team thanks for watching and have a nice day if you have any specific queries you can just ping me in telegram or you can just uh, comment in the comment section okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day